Well, Sea Sports got a hold of several leading football minds after the appointment to share what they thought of the uh, um, the appointment of Sanfit as the head coach. Former players Brent Sancho and Shaka Hislop are equally bemused, while ladies captain Melee Atten Johnson questioned the TTFA's president's approach of essentially placing the new coach on a two-match probation. This is a World Cup we're trying to qualify our country for. And if you're going out to get a coach, get a coach that you have confidence in for eight games and allow him that opportunity to take the team through the eight games and see if we qualify. But two games is, is, is tough. I, I can't help but feel that we have more than enough qualified coaches within Trinidad and Tobago or, uh, that have a, have a link to Trinidad and Tobago that, that could, could coach his team. Um, in the fact that the president of the Football Association mentioned that if he loses both games in March, um, he'd be fired. And also mentioned that he was second choice in front of the head coach. Um, kind of leaves me a bit surprised as it relates to his next step forward. To, to be quite honest, and, and to put things in, in perspective, if, if some other coach, um, uh, a non-European, um, had the CV that St. Fate had, I'm not sure they would have gotten a look in. Uh, no, it's, it's not an impressive CV. It's, it's, it, nothing jumps out at you. As I say, maybe, maybe it does deserve uh, further investigation, but nothing jumps out and it leaves you kind of scratching your head and wondering.